it's like beyond salt in the wound. It's a twisting of the knife when the president so unapologetically, so flagrantly, you know, uses his platform to spread lies about the dangers of coronavirus. He is putting everybody's lives at risk. He's got my mother's blood on his hands. My dad is 72. He has no pre-existing medical conditions. He was very healthy. He went to the hospital. He was admitted um, uh, on July 26th after um, 65 days in the intensive care unit. Um, he um, succumbed to the coronavirus and he passed away last Thursday. And last Thursday, the day our dad passed away, over 800 American people passed away on one single day. And our president of the United States lacks any empathy to just human life, not let alone the American people that he is ruling and the leader of this country. And it is appalling to us. It is just a slap in the face to us after we lost our father last week to this virus. Um, my mother, got COVID and um, she had milder symptoms, um, although she did have to go to the hospital. She had a little oxygen issue. She was coughing, sore throat. Finally, the doctors said that the uh, COVID had apparently attacked her, her nervous system and she, and she died. It was a very painful, excruciating, miserable death. I, I think it's the most insane thing I've ever heard of to consider this like the flu. Um, after watching my mother suffer and die the way she did from it, I would only caution people to ignore what he says and listen to the doctors and the scientists because it is by far not the flu. Donald J. Trump seems to believe that he's uh, above it all and uh, COVID hasn't gone away and more and more people are having the same exact things happen to him that my mother did. So my dad immigrated in 1974 from Syria and you know we he really is the American dream story. He came to this country with um, just his education and his ambition. And he was always the first to tell us that, that we are so blessed to be in this country, the land of opportunity, where if you work hard, you know, you can achieve anything. It's just really, really painful to know that the same country that gave us so much, this lack of leadership in this country, kind of ended up being his demise.